Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to back up and restore your games on Steam. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to select the library tab and then right click on the game in question on the left panel here and select properties. You want to select the local files option on the left side. And then where it says backup game files, go ahead and left click on that. And it's going to tell you how much disk space is required for the backup here. And check mark all the games you want to backup and select next. You select the destination you want to save the backup files to. And then select next again. So I'm just going to actually go ahead and just save it to my desktop. And once I have that done here, I'm going to select the select folder and then I'm going to select next and I'm going to select next again. It's going to tell you how much time is remaining here. And then you can open up the backup folder just to make sure that it's saved properly. And you can see it did save successfully to our desktop. So now if you're wondering how do you restore from the backup, so of course you have to select finish here once that's done. And assuming you want to back up from the backup, just select the Steam tab up at the top, top left. And then select where it says backup and restore games. Where it says what would you like to do? Select restore previous backup and then select next. Select the browse button like I showed before. Navigate to the backup location if you set a custom one. You see they want you to go directly to the backups folder. That's probably the default file path for that. But since I selected my desktop here, I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then you're going to select the select folder and then select next. So you see it did find the program backup, by the way. Select next and select next again. And give it a moment here. And since there aren't any actual game files, I haven't played at all on it, basically. That's why it's not installing here. But if it did have any saves on there, it would start backing it up. It would start installing it from the disk at this point. So again, pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.